814, and as the Trump transition continues, all eyes are on the role of the first lady under a Trump presidency. We know that his daughter Ivanka will play a major role in the new administration, while his wife Melania will remain in New York for the foreseeable future. Here to weigh in on how the office will change is the first lady's man himself, Andrew Oak, author of the book Unusual for Their Time. Thanks for coming back. Oh, thanks for having me. It's great to be here. So I know we've had you, you know, we were talking about the role of the first man possibly with sure. Clinton and all these other things. And now here we are. We're three days away from the Donald Trump presidency. Absolutely. And, you know, a lot of people talking about Melania Trump. We learned through reports that she won't be moving right away to D.C., staying in New York with their son, Barron. Right. Do you expect um, Ivanka Trump to kind of step up in the meantime? A lot of people are speculating that. Uh, you know, we really haven't give given Melania the time to craft this role to be her own, as every first lady before her has had the chance to do. And what she's doing in putting her son first is not unprecedented or unusual. Many families, the Obamas did, anyone with a young family in the White House, will often put their children first. What she's doing that's unusual is she's not coming to D.C. initially. She's going to stay in New York. But we don't know when she's going to get here or what she's going to do when she gets here. Mm -hmm. Well, the fact that um, Ivanka Trump and her husband, uh, the reports that they purchased a house mm -hmm. in the district. What kind of role do you expect her to play, I guess, as first daughter? I don't know what sure, the correct of, terminology of course. No, no, is. No, no, of course, of course. <laughs> well, you know, older children have played big roles in their parents' administrations before. Right. I think what happened when, when Melania stepped out on the national stage at the convention, she kind of got kicked in the shins, you know, with the Michelle Obama plagiarism and the charges of that. Mm -hmm. So she sort of pulled back a little. And then Ivanka stood up and, and stepped forward to do stuff in the campaign. Yeah. So we're expecting to see more of her in a role of her husband's administration yet to be determined. That could be policy, that could be uh, anything that, that, that doesn't relate to First Lady duties, or she could step up and help Melania with those. Yeah, you know, I think in recent years, we've seen so many First Ladies, they move in right away, mm -hmm. they get involved with things. You know, Laura Bush had the literacy and yep. reading, Michelle Obama and Let's Move. I mean, it, obviously the role of First Lady isn't a paid position or anything right. like that, but when do you expect that we might see Melania kind of step into this role? Well, she it's shortly after the the election, she okay. did she did say cyberbullying was something right. she was going to take on. That's a great cause. We haven't we haven't figured bullying out yet. It's been mm -hmm. around forever. With the uh, advent of the the uh, the internet, it gets more complicated. So it's a modern twist on an age old problem that I think will play well for her mm -hmm. nationally, internationally around the world. It's just, again, what she decides to do with it and who she can bring on board to support that cause with her. Yeah. Well, you know, uh, the public uh, might not be pleased, I guess you could say, with the first lady uh, that doesn't feel that the White House is her primary right, uh, right. residence. You know, right. we, we obviously know the Trumps are hotel people, they're building people. Um, how might that be perceived if she's maybe kind of splitting her time more? You know, we didn't see Laura Bush going to Texas all the time. Michelle right. Obama certainly was here and not in right. Chicago. How do you think that will play? Well, historically, it, it has not played well for first ladies that don't spend a lot of time. Bess Truman comes to mind. She spent a lot of time in Independence, Missouri, uh, even going far back to, to Abigail Adams. Hmm. She didn't like the White House. It wasn't completely done and thought D.C. was a swamp, which it was. It was. <laughs> and the White House wasn't done. Yeah. So she spent a lot of time in Massachusetts. The public opinion can change Melania's outlook on this role. If she catches too much grief for it, for not being here, we we might see more or she could just continue in that Trump vein and just play yeah, by their own insane. rules and and public opinion might not matter to them as much. Yeah. And so I, while we're talking about this, you, you know, what is kind of the role of first lady? Obviously, a lot of times it's the president's wife. But I mean, they don't have to do anything if they don't want to. Correct. No. And, and if you think of it this way, they are the most powerful unelected women in the world. They have the ear of arguably the most powerful man. So a lot of what they do and what people don't realize is they are their husbands, their presidential spouses, PR campaign. They always poll higher than their, than their uh, presidential spouses. And so she needs to be out there promoting her husband as this family man, as this more affable, this more approachable, this nicer guy. And with someone as polarizing as Trump has been, 
she could she could really help his administration if she comes out and steps into that role. Yeah. And last question before I, uh, we let you go. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, we saw this a little bit with Michelle Obama. People kind of looked up to her, very fashion forward. Sure. She set the trend a lot of times. If she wore a dress, people want to go out and get it. It would sell out. With Melania having the background in fashion and modeling, do you expect her to kind of be a, a trendsetter here in Washington and nationwide as well? I, I think so. I mean, it'll be huge. She's already been on the cover of almost every fashion magazine. She'll be back on there again. Like a Jacqueline Kennedy, and that kind of following these first ladies' style uh, indicators goes back to Dolly Madison. I mean, this has been going on forever. Women change their hair, the way they wear their hats. Pillbox hats used to be worn on top of the head until Jacqueline Kennedy pulled it back to frame her face differently. And women still wear their hats that way today. So highly influential in style and fashion. All right. Well, fortunately, we got to leave it bare. But thank you so much for coming in. And please come back. As Always. you know, we're not done with this conversation. Always. We'll see you again. <laughs> All right. And please go pick up that book as well. Unusual for their time.